please welcome to the stage the incredibly insightful innovation instigator, Nils Vesk. Welcome to the world of innovation. Now, innovation is such a crucial thing in business today. It's the key to being able to differentiate ourselves from the competition, not just by looking different or being new, but actually being better. How can we unthink the thinking that we've done in the past that has prevented us from moving forward to create great levels of success? The mass majority of the population, for whatever reason, think that they've got no innovative bones in their body whatsoever, which is totally untrue. We are hardwired to not innovate. We are hardwired to the status quo. We are creatures of habit. We like doing what we've always done. It's like, I'm going to walk to work the same way every day. And that's exactly why we need a process to enable us to get beyond those negativity biases, beyond the professional biases and beyond our own biases to make those things happen. And the tourists would say, I do not know where is the beach, there's all the buses everywhere. In each one of these cultures, we have a number of tribes. We have our groovers, our movers, our shakers. You know, a lot of people say, but emotion, there's no way that emotion has a role in business. One of the reasons why change is so difficult is that we have emotion. The bottom line is that the way that we've been taught to think about innovation, and every job we've ever had in our career, has skewed us. These biases that create boundaries, silos and divisions that stop us from collaborating and stop us from actually innovating. There are four phases to innovation. Investigation, ideation, iteration and commercialization. So the investigation phase is all about looking for insights around customer and consumer behaviour. Ideation is about generating lots of ideas, functional ideas, ideas that create insatiable desire. And iteration is about piloting, prototyping and testing our ideas. And the commercialization phase is all about building our ideas, selling it and getting a commercial return. This process isn't like a horoscope. It's not going to say, oh my God, I'm, I'm a Leo and I'm, I'm OCD. This is about giving people roles that empower to come to innovation. And when anyone uses this process, anybody can become an innovator and any organisation can lead its market. Absolutely anyone, any ordinary person can create extraordinary ideas that can change lives, change industries, and who knows it, even change the world.